Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for September 30th of 2025 is titled Comet Lemon Brightens. So, what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of a comet, and we've looked at a bunch of comets over the last couple of weeks as we've had Comet Swan and Comet Atlas, which have both been visible in the sky, at least visible if you had either a long camera exposure or a pair of binoculars to be able to see them. And there are different stages within their orbits, with a Comet Swan on its way back out of the solar system, heading away from our sun, Comet Atlas heading in, and Comet Lemon now here, also just discovered this year, heading in toward the inner solar system. So it's going to brighten over the next few weeks as it gets closer to both Earth and Sun. Now, how much a comet brightens depends on a number of factors, and it's very unpredictable. So we have a few things we can take into account, like how close it is to Earth, how close it gets to the Sun. We really don't know for sure how much it will brighten until it happens. So we'll be watching Comet Lemon over the coming weeks. It will actually reach its closest approach to Earth in the middle of October, in fact, on October the 21st. And at this point, it will be about half the distance of between the Earth and Sun. So it will still be relatively far away from us. It's in no danger of striking Earth at all. And in fact, it will be about 75 million kilometers away at its closest approach to Earth. So brightness depends on how close an object is to Earth and for a comet how close it is to the Sun as well because the Sun is what's heating it up and causing all of the detail that we see in this image. So the comet itself is a nucleus that is just a few kilometers across. It's not visible on this scale. If the rest of this material were not here, we would not be able to see the comet at all. But the greenish color of the coma, or the head of the comet, is material that has been vaporized off the comet by the heat of the sun. Then the sun's solar wind and the radiation pressure push back that material so that the tail of the comet, stretching off here toward the upper right-hand side, always points away from the sun. So that means we can always tell where the direction of the sun is, and in this case it would be off towards the lower left, obviously well below the horizon, since we can see all of the stars here in the image as well. So over the next couple next month or so, we will watch the comet Lemon come closer to Earth, getting brighter, and then closer to the sun when it passes the sun on November the 8th. So right now it's visible in the morning sky, and in mid-October that will switch and it will become visible in the evening sky as well. So there's a chance to be able to see this comet if it brightens as much as we think it might. It may become visible to the unaided eye if it brightens enough. But again, that is going to be a good question until we actually see what happens as this comet approaches the sun. So that was our picture of the day for September 30th of 2025. It was titled Comet Lemon Brightens. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.